In this video, we will learn basic electrical terminology. We will cover voltage, amperage, energy, work, and watts. Let's get started. So what is voltage? What does this word really mean? Voltage is the force or pressure pushing an electrical current through a wire. Voltage pushes electricity through a circuit. Imagine you're stopping the flow of water through a garden hose by holding your thumb tightly on the end. You can feel the pressure of the water trying to push your thumb off the end of the hose. This pressure, this water pressure, is similar to the pressure that pushes electricity through a wire, and your thumb is like the switch in a circuit. When you let go, you let the current of water flow, just like flipping a switch lets electricity flow in a circuit. Voltage is measured in volts. Volts measure electrical pressure. We now know that voltage pushes current, but what exactly is this current we're talking about? to a different type of current in our lives, the current in a river, the current of water. And that current is a stream of many, many drops of water. An electrical current is a stream of many, many particles of electricity. These particles are called electrons. So how do we measure this current of electrons moving through a wire? What unit of measure do we use? Amperes! Amperes, also called amps, measure the number of moving electrons. The number of electrons measured by one amp is about 6 billion 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 electrons. This is also called 6 quintillion. 6 quintillion electrons moving past a point in a wire in one second is equal to 1 ampere. Alright, we have a force measured in volts pushing a current of electrons measured in amps and this gives us energy. Energy can be harnessed to do work, like spinning a turbine in a hydroelectric dam. Work is an activity like moving something, heating something, or powering something. Work changes one form of energy into another form of energy. There are several different forms of energy. Movement, something moving, is one form of energy. The movement of water, for example, can work to turn a generator in a hydroelectric dam and generate electricity. The energy of moving water is changed or converted by the generator into electrical energy. Electrical energy can also be changed into other forms like light energy or heat. A solar cell changes the energy of sunlight into electrical energy. This electrical energy can power a motor and be converted into movement energy. There's one more electrical term we need to know. We need to be able to measure how fast we are using electricity. A speedometer in a car measures how fast we are moving in miles per hour. We need a way to measure how fast we are using electricity. In other words, we need to know how fast we are converting electrical energy into another form of energy. Look at these two light bulbs. The small light bulb uses less electricity than the big light bulb. You could also say that the small bulb uses electricity more slowly than the big bulb. The big light bulb uses electricity twice as fast as the small light bulb. What we're really talking about is how fast the light bulbs are converting electricity into light. We need a word that measures how fast they are doing this. That word is watt. The small light bulb uses electricity at a rate of 50 watts, the big light bulb uses electricity at a rate of 100 watts. Watts measure how fast electricity is used. Watts measure how quickly we convert electricity into other forms of energy, like light or heat. Watts also measure how fast electricity is generated. Just like there can be a 50 watt light bulb, there can be a 50 watt solar panel. The 50 watt light bulb converts electricity into light at a speed of 50 watts. A 50 watt solar panel does just the opposite. It converts sunlight into electricity at a speed of 50 watts. Watts is like miles per hour, but it has the per hour built in. A watt equals an amount of energy converted per second. Watts measure how quickly we convert energy, how fast we produce or use electricity. Now that we can talk about the rate of energy being converted in watts, how do we describe the amount of energy converted? Is there another unit to measure this? The watt hour. Watt hours tell us the amount of energy that is being used or produced over time. 
Watts tell us the rate at which this energy is being converted at a single point in time. If this heater uses 1000 watts and it runs for one hour, then it will use 1000 watts times one hour or 1000 watt hours. 1000 watt hours is also called one kilowatt hour. Kilo means 1000, so 1000 watt hours equals one kilowatt hour. If this solar module generates electricity at a rate of 100 watts for 10 hours, then it will supply 1000 watt hours or one kilowatt hour. Now remember, a watt is a rate of energy conversion that tells us how fast energy is used or generated at a single point in time. A watt hour is an amount of energy converted over time. This concludes our electrical short on electrical terminology, brought to you by Solar Schoolhouse. <laughs>